Hello everybody, it's Caitlin here. Today is not a soaping video, but a candle making video. Um, I have um, a custom order that I'm making that um, it's going to be a Dr. Pepper candle. So, whoop, moving my light a little bit. Um, I have here 100% natural soy wax and it is the Country Lane brand that you could get from Hobby Lobby. And it's $9.99, um, but I usually get it when it's 30% off. So there's that, and here it's 32 ounces, which is two pounds. And then I am gonna be using these 1400 hemp seven inch wick, wicks, um, and they are pre-coated with the wax and all that fun stuff. And then I also got here from, this is from Nature's Garden, and then this is from Nature's Garden. I got the cinnamon color block, so it should be like a brown with red in it. And then I also ordered the Mr. Pepper MD fragrance oil from Nature's Garden. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And then I actually have here some empty Dr. Pepper cans. And um, all I did to get the top off was I just used a can opener. Um, so yeah, it works pretty good. And this is what it looks like. Now sometimes the can opener will scratch along the can, um, but I feel like it's not that big of a deal. It's not that noticeable. Um, I did put a paper towel on this one to protect the can, but then the, the can opener digs in a little deeper around the rim here. So no matter what you do, you're gonna have a little bit of imperfections, at least with my can opener. So there's these cans and I have here blue dots that I'm going to be using to put on the wicks. So there's the glue dots there and I'm going to use them to attach the wicks. Okay, so I got the, um, the adhesive here on the bottom, the little uh, glue dots on the bottom here. And what I did was I took my, this is a meat thermometer cap, and I'm gonna use this to stick the wick down into the pop can, or soda can, whatever you call it from where you're from. So you just put it right through there like that and then you pull it not too tight but tight enough to straighten it out and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to just line it up here right in the middle and then press down and I'm actually turning this because it has that little thing on the bottom that could press all the edges down. And I'll show you what I mean in a second here. So there's the wick in there. And this is what I was referring to where it comes out right here, this little knob. And when you turn it, it kind of seals the, the wick down.
right, so I have the whole bag in there. And this is okay to fill it this high. It won't hurt anything. And I'm going to go ahead and start melting it down. And I'll bring you guys back once it's all melted. Okay, guys, I have it all melted down. I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature here. Right now it is hitting at around 170. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and grab my um, color block here. So here's the color block. Whoop. The bottom of the container is still wet from being in the water. So let's pull this out and I'm, I'm going to add just a little chunk first to see how it goes. And I'm going to use this spoon because I don't have anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and just break off a couple chunks, add it, and then see how good it does. And I'll check the color and everything. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and add that little bit of color. So let me grab my scale here, move this bowl that I ended up not using. Okay, let's turn that on. And we're just going to do two ounces of fragrance oil. And I'm going to stir that in for a minute just to make sure that it's all well combined. This fragrance oil says in um, wax you could use it up to 10%, but 10% um, of the 32 ounces would have been 3.2 ounces, and um, for the soy wax, it says not to do more than one ounce per ounce of um, wax so I went ahead and listened to the actual wax itself and not the fragrance because that again is just a maximum usage rate for the fragrance oil and not like um, a, what is kind of like a suggested one but it's not required smells good This actually, because Dr. Pepper has so many notes to it, it makes it a really, really pleasant smell because it has like a, a bit of a, a cherry with a, I don't know, it has a really warm smell to it. it has like that vanilla in it too, so it, um, it's really pleasant. All right, I feel like this is good enough. I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature. And it says it's at 125 now. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it. And I'm making a mess. Okay, so here is the first one. 
there was nothing on the edge there. I'm going to fill it to there for now and fill the other ones to see how much this gives me. Because these are 12 ounce cans and that means they'll be with the fragrance oil maybe 11 ounces in each can. So I'm going to make sure that there's enough for each can and then I'll go back through and I'll top it off. Okay. Oops. Smells good. Ooh. All right, so you're going to want to pull it. Well, I pulled it too tight. Well then. Well then. I'm just going to let this one set like that and this one will be mine apparently sometimes that happens if you tug too much or if the the glue that you use isn't um, great for higher temperatures so that's how I'm gonna settle that one and that's perfectly fine like that um, these wicks are for two and a half to three inch candles and pop cans are about two inches wide but I wanted to make sure that they um, burned the candle down evenly because the other ones were for about two inches wide and in the past when I've used them they did not turn out great they wouldn't melt down completely and they ended up getting like stuck and all that fun stuff but as you can see, this is almost the final color here. It's a darker color with a little bit of a red tint to it. So I'm going to wipe everything down and then I will bring you guys back once everything is cooled down and set. And hopefully that won't be too long.